Hello everyone and welcome to your Jazz Therapy Tuesday Tune-Up for December 13th, 2022. Today on Jazz Therapy, I wrote about a recent New York Times article I saw which revealed that there are over 1 million kinless seniors, meaning seniors without any living relatives in the United States. And I just felt really sad to read this. I felt powerless. I felt bewildered as to why we live in a society where this is permissible. It is so difficult to just age and not having a support network on top of that makes it even harder. So I wanted to write about that. I created a meditation to do to send positive energy to seniors who are in this category just to feel like maybe I could help a little bit in, in this way. And it helped me and I, I hope it might benefit you as well and you can find that on jazztherapy.com and as always i listen to jazz so today's pieces of music are honoring kinless seniors and i do hope you enjoy these pieces now all of the pieces today just two feature the work of none other than the legendary chairman of the board mr frank sinatra his birthday was yesterday december 12th and I really wanted to honor him on Jazz Therapy. I'm a huge fan of his. He was such an incredible performer and artist because he deeply understood the human experience and he could convey that through his music. So the first song I chose goes into the category of emotional dwelling. And this is when we wanna to listen to a piece of music to mirror our mood. The song I chose for this category is Only the Lonely, and it's from a 1958 studio album called Frank Sinatra Sings for Only the Lonely. This song just achingly and so beautifully captures the experience of what it feels like to be lonely and just have this longing inside of you for connection. And he just really gets that across from in, in the music. And ironically, hearing the song it's like we don't feel as alone because our experience is sort of reflected back. So I really enjoyed this piece that he could just capture that feeling so incredibly and I hope you do as well. Now moving on to the second category, emotional elevation. And this is when we want to listen to music to help ourselves feel better. And Frank Sinatra could just bring you back to life like nobody else. So. The song I chose for this category is The Best Is Yet To Come from a 1964 collaboration between Mr. Sinatra and the legendary pianist, composer, organizer, and band leader Count Basie. And it's from an album called It Might As Well Be Swing. And this album is just incredible. The song is one of my favorite Sinatra songs. It is just so upbeat and I love the message that it imparts on us that no matter where we are in life, there's still more for us. There's more to grow where we can grow. There's just more, more life and more good things ahead no matter what is happening. So I love this message of eternal optimism and the, the joy that comes across is absolutely incredible. And I did read in my research for today's piece that the phrase, the best is yet to come, is actually on Mr. Sinatra's tombstone where he is buried. So that is kind of a fun fact. I really hope you enjoy these two songs. It was so hard to choose. I could just talk about Mr. Sinatra all day. So please head over to jazztherapy.com to check out the whole full post and uh, leave a comment and let me know what you think and check back in with us on Thursday for our regular newsletter. Thanks so much.